And now matters affecting the world as it is, uh, coronavirus. The outbreak of coronavirus, which has claimed the lives of more than 4,900 people and spread to at least 120 countries, has also affected sporting activities. As the virus spreads across the, as, across the world, rather, sport bodies are being compelled to cancel or postpone events and matches. To shed more light on this, Plus TV Africa's sports correspondent, Okpe, joins me in the studio. Good morning. Morning, Okpe. Morning, Amaka. Good to have you this morning. Same here, What's same going same. on in the world of sports with coronavirus? Uh, a, a whole lot, a whole lot. Um, mm. We know the way sports and people go together, mm -hmm. and right now they are being separated. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Seems like a marriage that is going through separation right now. It's going now. through a lot, really. So yes, bring us up is. to speed. Uh, events have been cancelled, some have yes. been postponed. Which ones exactly? All right, so let's start with football, mm -hmm. which is our biggest sport in the world right now. So the top five leagues in the world, in Spain, Italy, Germany, France, mm -hmm. they've all been postponed now till the, till the 3rd of April. Oh, no. So now this period is basically to help with clubs who have players who are going through self-isolation mm. currently majorly clubs in Italy. Because the biggest cities in Italy, we have the biggest clubs there. Right. And sadly, that is where the coronavirus is most evident. Mm. We've had about three players in, in Italy who are confirmed to have the coronavirus. Currently, the biggest team in Italy, Juventus, they're on a 15-day self-isolation because one of their players, Daniel mm -hmm. Rugani, last week tested positive for the virus. And you know the way the game is. It's a contact sport. Right. Players see each other every day. Mm -hmm. When you score a goal, the celebrations, there's no how that you don't get in contact with each other. So prior to the breakout of coronavirus, one of the measures that was taken at first was to have games played behind closed doors. Mm -hmm. but you without know, what, fans. Without fans. How boring can that be? Even? Extremely boring. But mm -hmm. you know, most importantly, when you think about it, it has economic um, it has a, how I put it now? It has economic influence on mm -hmm. the games as well because we need people in the games. Right. People buy tickets to come out and watch these matches. Sure. The tickets bring the money mm -hmm. for the teams and also viewing rights as well. For the first time in about 20 years, one of Italy's biggest games, Derby Italia, between Juventus and Inter Milan, it became a title deciding match. And it was so sad that no one was at the stadium oh, to watch no. the match. So, you know, it has a lot of implications, impact, big implications mm -hmm. as well. I can say the implications are really huge uh, yes. from the explanation that yes. you are giving. Having said that, um, which events are stubbornly going ahead? Are there some who are saying, well, whether there is coronavirus or no coronavirus, we shall proceed? Yes, let's bring you home to Nigeria hmm. now. So, we're, we're currently, our MPFL league is still going on. And basically, it's still going on because actually, we have medical facilities, according to the MPFL, we have medical facilities now in place. Sadly, two weeks ago, we lost one of our players from Nasarawa United who slumped yeah. on the field. I know it was such a sad situation because he could have been revived if we had proper medical facilities on standby. Mm -hmm. We had an ambulance on the pitch, but the ambulance was not able to move. Oh, my goodness. We did not have qualified medical personnel on the pitch to give him CPR. It was so devastating. So the condition for matches going on in the MPF was that, okay, we do have nearby good medical facilities. But do you think this is good enough decision? Because um, just following the explanation you've just given, are, we, are you sure, I mean, ha, is this thought through to be a good decision? Because if they are mixing with people from all kinds of places without wanting to sound offensive, are, are we not at risk, so to speak? We're definitely at risk. I feel like we're taking a huge risk and we're probably taking advantage of the fact that coronavirus is not rampant here in Nigeria. Hmm. Because, like I said, football is a contact sport. There is no way you will not come in contact with people one way or the other, probably by just training. Even if you are teammates and you decide to say, okay, no contact with each other, emotions run wild when right. you score goals mm -hmm. and things like that. So it's just better to be on the safe side. And people have been moving around. Of course, people are moving around. Another thing with the MPFL is that time will tell how good this decision is. Sadly, over the years, we usually wait for bad things to happen mm -hmm. before we take precaution. And prevention is better than cure. Mm -hmm, as they say. All right. Now, what are the predictions uh, of the way forward at this point? You know, in terms of, unlike most functions that we know, um, sports has no virtual equivalence. So True. What's, what, what are the predictions from henceforth? Okay. Well, first of all, let me tell you the 
should I say, the repercussions going on right mm -hmm. now. We have two major sporting events this year. We have the Euro 2020 and we have the Olympics. Now, these are two of biggest sporting events you could have and they are in one year. Mm -hmm. So now what's going to happen? Concerning Euro 2020 and also um, the FIFA World Cup qualifiers going on in 2022. In 2022, we are going to have the first ever Winter World Cup. So now suggestions are being made that probably we should allow this current suspension or this current break to go on. This was a suggestion made by Wayne Rooney. So there's a suggestion that probably we should allow this current season to go on all the way to December. Mm -hmm. We can then now say that, okay, this is a test run yeah. and we are preparing towards a, a, the first ever Winter World Cup. Mm -hmm. But now, how does that affect the Olympics? The Olympics is one of the biggest summer events that you could ever have. Right. Because already, we do have the Winter Olympics, which took place last year. Mm -hmm. So we can't have two Winter Olympics in the space of one year. So what now is the solution? The best thing to do is to wait for the period, maybe after May, because we already have qualifiers that have been done already oh, towards right. the Olympics. Mm. Some, most qualifiers now have been put on hold. But majorly, we are 80% through to the Olympics. Mm. And that is the biggest sporting event the world has to offer. So basically, what might just happen is that the Olympics probably start late, probably by the end of August mm -hmm. and elapse into September. Mm. But look, judging from the other big sporting events in football, in boxing, and in golf, currently they are just suspensions. Mm -hmm. You know, going over to motorsport as well, mm -hmm. the Formula One. Formula One. Last week we were meant to have the cutting razor to the season, but sadly one of the mechanics for the Mercedes team was diagnosed with the oh, coronavirus. Gosh, my goodness. So now they're thinking about it. Probably it's just best to suspend Everything. the season mm. and probably just start at the end of the year. Mm. The qualifiers for the Olympics boxing as well had to be cancelled. We have different categories of motorsports. But then what I love the most now is that we are beginning and to realize... something you love, so tell me about exactly. that. <laughs> but you know, what I love right now in the world of sports is that we are beginning to realize that people's lives matter. Mm -hmm. It's not just about the money. It's not about the streaming rights. People's lives really matter. Extremely important. So right now, I know that people's lives are first. Mm -hmm. And the football world is doing their best to make sure that, you know what, we cop this virus mm -hmm. and we can get back to playing Because you can games. only be alive to continue the games. Exactly. And before I let you go, April 3rd, this, everything has been moved to April 3rd. For now. What if, I'm not being negative, mm -hmm. but what if come April 3rd, they're still, we're still battling with uh, the coronavirus saga? What will happen? All right, no, so... But concerning football, mm -hmm. what is most likely going to happen is that the leagues will be automatically ended. Oh. And then the teams currently at the top will be given the trophies. The teams at the bottom, sadly, they'll have to be relegated and go to the second tier. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's it for football. Mm -hmm. Concerning other sporting events, it has to be deliberated amongst their bodies and they need to know what to do. But most likely, every other sporting event, apart from football, would be suspended probably later this year. Mm. Thank you so very much, Okpe, for bringing us up to speed all that is happening in the world of sports. My pleasure.